This is Duke University. We have developed some tools that function analogously to the components of a random access memory, where we can read and write cells instead of electrons into an array and observe these cells over long periods and extract single cells on demand for future analyses. So what you see here is the fundamental circuit elements. First is the conductor, and we show that when we have a rotating magnetic field in the positive sense, clockwise sense, the magnetic bead moves in the positive x direction, and you also see the potential energy landscape where the blue region is the energy minimum, and this is where the bead likes to be. So building from there, we've developed other circuit elements, such as a diode, which permits one-way current flow, and also a apartment, which behaves like a storage unit for cells, which we call a capacitor. Now the next question is, now that we have the ability to store cells in specific sites, we have to control where the cells get into these apartments and how they can be removed. So we need transistors or gates. The next step is to form a multiplex circuit. And that's what you see here. We have a 3x3 three three array where we have three row switches and three column switches. And in order to demonstrate an arbitrary pattern, we form an X, as you see here, where we put five beads into an X pattern. So this is of importance to the field of biology because in medicine, there is an urgent need to understand the needle in the haystack, the rare responses in biology that are doing something different than the rest of the cells. Produced by Duke University. Online at duke.edu.